Hey guys, peace, love, and light. So if you want to understand what's going on and what we're seeing and what we're filming and what we're capturing in the veil, this is an important book to be reading. Really important book to be reading as well. And then we have the red, these are some of the books I read. I have a lot of different books that I read because I do really feel it's way more galactic. <laughs> Clearly spiritual and soul, obviously. <clears throat> um, but he actually tells you what the words mean. This isn't his opinion of things. He actually breaks down the words for you to understand what you're reading. that has been rewritten by King James um, and left out and how the scribes change things um, back in the Sumerian times as well. But this book is important if you want to understand what you're filming in the veil. Um, you know, this is the Battle of Inki and Enlil, and it is. We are in Enlil time, which is the age of Aquarius, okay? Some feel Enlil is Archangel Michael. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not convinced on that. Um, I'm not uh, honestly convinced of that yet. Um, but Inki, and Inki basically, uh, King Anu in, in, in Enlil, felt betrayed by Inki. Inki had a dream vision from the Most High God. And I talk about this a lot, about uh, where, the, where the real plans for the Ark came from was the Most High God. And in his dream vision, he was shown a sapphire tablet. Sapphire is connected to the Most High God. These crystals are key. They're connected into heaven, and they are. They're not just rocks, dormant rocks. They are connected to the heavenly realms. If one fell from grace, pieces of heaven would fall too. You understand? So Sapphire is totally connected to the Most High God. And anyway, Inky was shown this in a dream vision. And when he woke, the tablet was next to him. The Sapphire tablet. And again, Noah, that wasn't his name. You know what I mean? So, you you know, this it's time to... Or not for you, but for me, as a divine soul here, I don't fall for a lot of things. I'm not saying fall for the, well, a lot of things the Bible says, but I know things have been changed. Why, I don't know. Because there's a great deception going on, but the truth. And we will be shown the truth. That's the promise. Um, so I suggest you read this or don't. Zachariah Sitchin is really important piece of what is going on right now. And he is. There are others who have also, um, but he was the first one to break, you know, un, uh, decipher the tablets. And he was. And this goes in a lot to like Anana, who is a divine mother, and the types of chariots, because they sit in a chair and they can descend from heaven. All right. These are the heavenly ones. These are the heavenly ones. And this is what we're filming. Believe it or not, it's really all good with me, but I suggest these two books for right now. Um, this breaks down, I'll just show you real quick. Um, of course, now that I'm opening it, it breaks down the fib, the fig, fig. <laughs> it breaks down Eve. It tells you about Lilith. It tells you about Planet X and the passing of what Passover really means. About and he talks about the cuneiforms and the Hebrew language. This is a significant Bible to really read as well. Um, and yeah, he goes into a lot actually. And I, I've been reading his book, and you know what? It makes sense. And he goes into, and I would get messages about this. Maverick the Poet is my witness, actually. I was getting messages about this in an unknown, um, unknown uh, metal that we don't know about yet that is being used and then that all came together for me um, we are surrounded by uh, iron we're completely surrounded by an iron cage um, anyway you know use your own discernment on your own journey but um, you know you, it, it's important to really know the truth and the great dragon was cast out. And that old serpent called the devil. See, the dragon isn't the devil. Okay, that old serpent called the devil. And Satan, he was cast out on, into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. 
The words he, his, and him are the Greek word, also meaning she, hers, and her. I'm beyond the spectrum. It's one to grow on.